Dogecoin and cryptocurrencies are starting to flip a little bearish, but there's still good news. There is still good fundamentals. Is this just a small healthy pullback? Are we going to see a bigger fall, maybe a crash? In this video, we're going to be addressing all of your concerns. So make sure you watch this entire video. You cannot miss what I have in store for you today. What's up, Miles? Ladies and gentlemen here, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss these time-sensitive videos about Dogecoin and cryptocurrencies. We call out huge plays before they happen. If you want to get access to my profitable trade alerts for cryptocurrencies, when to buy and sell, it's only 10 bucks a month. You can also talk to me on the phone. We can build you a portfolio and much more. I'm giving away 200 Doge to one lucky winner this Saturday. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow my Instagram and Twitter, and put Dogecoin giveaway in the comments. And if you love Dogecoin and cryptocurrencies, go ahead and smash up the like button and let me know in the comments, why do you think cryptocurrencies are down this week? Let's go ahead and talk about it. So the last two days have been red for cryptocurrencies. Only two days of red after 12 or 13 consecutive green days in a row. Nothing to panic about here. Nothing to be upset about. Nothing to be concerned about. We're just seeing a healthy pullback in the market. However, for Ethereum, we have not had a red close yet. Definitely very good to see here in the market. For Dogecoin, we've had three red days in a row, but we've had mostly ever since the 20th of July, green days and since the 20th of july we've only had four red days the rest being green so nothing crazy we're still in an uptrend things are still looking good for cryptos primarily what has caused the pullback in dogecoin and some of these other cryptos is just a little bit of fear in the market because of this whole new crypto tax uh, but i have some really good news to combat that fud before we get into that really good news we're going to talk about some other really good news and then we're going to do that and do some technical analysis. Let's see where cryptos are headed. So the Bitcoin price dips below 38,000. However, with bullish traders eyeing a new higher low. So if we go to the Bitcoin price, what we actually see is a higher low. So if we go ahead and zoom in, what we do see is pretty much a straight lineup, a little bit, a couple of stops. We eventually made a decent low here, which from the top of that is now near 10 percent so bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are still looking healthy and the whole chart is still very bullish for bitcoin for these cryptocurrencies so nothing to fear here nothing to be upset about if anything these might just be some really good buying opportunities i'm not a financial advisor it's not financial advice just my own opinion remember when people get fearful when people are starting to lose hope lose faith when things seem to appear boring on the media that is generally a good sign to be buying because it signals that things are about to take off. Here's some more very bullish data. Bullish flows push Bitcoin's put to call ratio to a 2021 low. So for the first time, we are seeing that people are switching their bearish sentiments for Bitcoin to bullish. They're now betting with call options that Bitcoin is going to get higher, that Bitcoin is going to go up a lot higher. That's what puts and calls are. Puts are when people are betting, uh, especially in this case, that Bitcoin is going to go down and calls are people that are betting that things are going to go up. So we're seeing this massive decline in the puts. So the right here, this chart shows the puts to call ratio. When this thing starts to head down, that means things are starting to get very, very bullish, especially as people sentiment across the internet. It shows, it goes to show you that the sentiment is bullish long-term, especially in the next couple of months. So here's that really good news. The SEC boss Gensler is eyeing robust regulation of crypto market. So we have a new guy, the new chair of the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, Gary Gensler, said he is weighing up a robust regulatory regime for the crypto market. Now, this guy is actually pro crypto. He used to teach about crypto. I've actually seen some of his lessons. So he's coming out in the media saying that he's neutral. He's not against the technology. And the interesting thing is, while I'm neutral on the technology, he said, he spent three years teaching it, learn, leaning into it. And I'm not neutral about investor protection. So what this guy wants to do is potentially he's going to help to push this Bitcoin ETF. But what he wants to do 
Yes, they want all they all want regulations. So there's people that don't like cryptos, they certainly want a lot of regulations. And then there's people that are pro crypto, they don't want regulations. So this guy is in the middle. He's like, look, what we need to do is we need to have a little bit of regulation so the government can say, okay, that's fine, it's protected. So they basically just want to be able to protect people and allow crypto trading just under a certain lens. So I don't think that this lens will have any major effect on the price of cryptos. Honestly, with regulation, it will allow other institutions and people who are speculative, who are kind of like standoffish with crypto to get in. So this is actually a really good thing to have the head of the SEC chair, a guy who knows crypto, loves crypto. He even taught crypto for three years specifically. So this is definitely a major move in the crypto space. Check this out. This new study reveals high demand for payments in cryptocurrency. Over 60% responding crypto owners said that they were interested in using crypto as a payment method to make online purchases more private or secure. That's amazing. And who do you think? What crypto do you think will be taking this spot? Is it going to be Bitcoin, which costs so much money to spend? Is it going to be Ethereum where the gas fees are so high? These other cryptos are so expensive to make these transactions with, especially if you just want to make regular, small, quick transactions, or you even want to buy a house, you want to buy a car. Dogecoin is going to be the winner in this space. So this is very good. We're starting to see a shift of people, not only just holding cryptocurrencies, not only investing in it to make money, but these people have been buying cryptocurrencies for years. They are up huge profits. They want to be able to spend their crypto and Dogecoin. When this, once this thing becomes big and people start spending crypto more and more and more, which is already a big thing now, but it's just starting to get there. That's why we're seeing crypto ATMs. We're starting to see retail stores accepting Dogecoin and cryptocurrencies. This is really good news for Dogecoin. It goes to show you in the future, maybe six months, maybe a year, a couple of years from now, that when people that people will be able to use cryptocurrencies to purchase things much more than what they're doing now. And they're most likely going to be using Dogecoin because it pretty much has zero transaction fees. So let's go ahead and get back to the chart. Let's see what's going on with cryptos. So just like we saw with Bitcoin, yes, Bitcoin is making a new low. But what we did, what did happen is we did break this level of support. We ended up breaking down because there's a bit of selling volume, a bit of selling pressure with the stock market, with the things that are going on with the government, with this regulatory FUD, which a lot of people even predicted last week was going to happen. It's cool to see that end up playing out, but we are still at support. So it's very critical what happens here. And what we do see with these candlesticks is very long wicks into this area. So that shows you a major rejection here which shows a very strong bounce in this level. So cryptocurrencies are still holding up strong, including Bitcoin. Let's take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum is still going straight up, the clearest uptrend we could ever see. So I'm definitely expecting Ethereum to have some legs here very soon, especially with this looming update coming out tomorrow. Tomorrow, we might not actually get the pump tonight, which I think we will, but we could actually get the pump tomorrow. We could get pumped for a couple more days. So we'll have to see what's going to happen. Nobody knows if it's a buy the rumor, sell the news event. Nobody knows. But the likeliness is that Ethereum should definitely be taking off or pumping here very soon, getting closer to that EIP 1559 update tomorrow. But taking a look at Dogecoin, Dogecoin sold off a bit. Dogecoin went down, but nothing crazy. Dogecoin is down like 4%, 5%. Nothing crazy here to see. We're still in a consolidation phase, but look at this. We are going up. We're not going down. We are going up. This is the uptrend that we're in. We did make a big high right here that we have not been able to surpass, but that's because there was a major unexpected pump that brought Dogecoin up very high, very fast. So sometimes we want to kind of take those out as the high. And with what we do see is we are still seeing higher lows, a consistent slow uptrend. So what I'm expecting for Dogecoin is we have to wait for it to see what Ethereum and Bitcoin are going to do. Uh, we definitely need Bitcoin as we noticed that ever since Ethereum has been pumping, Dogecoin has been kind of dropping as we're also seeing Bitcoin drop. So Bitcoin really moves along with Dogecoin, Dogecoin with Bitcoin. It's very interesting to see that coupling. So once Bitcoin starts to pump up a little bit, then the excitement will be brought back into Dogecoin. And I think Bitcoin is definitely gonna be seeing some volume, some volatility here very soon, especially this week, in my opinion. If you want a good platform to buy and sell cryptocurrencies, use my Weeble link if you deposit $100. Using my link, they'll send you two free stocks 
worth up to four thousand dollars, which you can immediately sell and buy cryptos with or send to your bank account. And if you want to get and if you want to trade cryptocurrencies tax free, use my iTrust Capital link. And if you guys got something out of the video, hit that like button, share this video with some of your friends and family, and I will see you all tonight. Have a good one.